I always give away too much mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch Hey Lifer Tribe, welcome to another Vlogtober daily vlog with your girl Stay Hall. And y'all see, my smile is big. You just don't know. This Vlogtober thing is doing something for your girl. The fact that I am able to record every day, edit every day, and put out what I believe to be pretty good content, I'm excited and I'm proud of myself. So I hope that y'all are excited and I hope that you're proud of me. Um, so we are headed to Sam's Club right now. And I know we just went to Sam's Club the other day, but we are going to Sam's Club because I want a hoodie <laughs> that I should have got when I was in there the other day. Um, but I want this hoodie. It's a Texas hoodie and the Texas is in camo, but it's like a fuzzy whatever, but it's cute. I'll show y'all because we are headed to the state fair and it's a little risk so it's definitely hoodie weather so that's why i got my whitney houston t-shirt back on i'm not gonna rock the same outfit i'm gonna be changing <laughs> my clothes into my hoodie um when we get there i got on my k-swiss and i don't know i think only people from pittsburgh wear k-swiss or used to wear k-swiss but i have on some cute little k-swiss with the camo stripes go with my camo hoodie and my husband's the one who um told me and i sound so crazy but i always say my husband y'all know wallace y'all know him right now <laughs> He's the one when I said I should have got that hoodie. And he was like, yeah, that would have looked nice with your K-Swiss. So, no brainer. We got to go back and get it. But, yeah, so we're going to go in here and pick up this hoodie. Oh, I sure did. I brought my fanny pack. But, um, yeah, so we're going to go in here and pick up this hoodie real quick, head to the state fair. And for those of you who are in the state of Texas and going to the fair, check out the website because the state fair, you know, they will try to get you with those prices, but they have a lot of specials on different days. If, you know, you're flexible like today, um, which I love, is like um, you bring canned goods, five canned goods per person, and you get into the fair for $5. But not only are you getting that discounted price, you're also helping the food bank because the canned goods that you bring are going to be donated to the food bank so i'm loving that you're giving back you know helping out a good cause and you're getting a discount so that's good but they have different things on different days um what was the other day and i keep saying um but there was something else another day where you could bring something to do something i don't know but just just check it out i believe it's texasstatefair.com maybe but just google texas state fair the website will come out come right up and it'll tell you the different things that you can take advantage of on different days to get the discount. But yeah, I'll pick y'all back up probably in Sam's Club, at least to do a little be real if nothing else. But if I see something super exciting, I'll chat with y'all. But other than that, I will see y'all at the fair. So I've secured the hoodie, y'all. They still had them and I was cracking up. I told Wallace, I said, I really came in here with a lot of faith because I just had on my t-shirt and my intentions was to bring a hoodie or a cardigan or something just in case they didn't have them anymore um but i forgot so we could have just went back home but i'm like yeah i really came in here with the faith that that hoodie was gonna be waiting for me but isn't it cute y'all this is my first texas branded purchase ever uh still not an official texan but I am willing to wear it because five years ago, I'd have been like, no, I'm an East Coast girl. I ain't wearing no Texas hoodie. But yeah, it's cute. And I just got on some black leggings. And let me see if I can show y'all my shoes. That's my K-Swiss with the little camo stripes. And I'm still kind of sad that I forgot about my little, I got a cute little camo backpack. Like it's a little small mini backpack, but it's cute. Y'all, the hair is still doing whatever it's doing. I didn't do anything to it last night. I um, just put on my satin bonnet and then I put a little moisturizer in it this morning. But I will probably twist it again tonight. Not in a whole bunch of little twists, but just some chunkier ones. Uh, so it'll be a little fresher tomorrow because we have a business event tomorrow. But yeah, just wanted to show y'all the hoodie. <coughs> it's cute. Y'all see how it's like fuzzy? Like the Sherpa. Cute. All right, I'll see y'all at the fair. So we've made a slight little detour. My husband has had his eye on this 
property and he wanted to bring me by to show me and no, we are not buying this house, but I jumped on because it's a part of your manifestation process. And I talk about manifestation and the power of the mindset and positive thinking all the time. And it's just something that we do. Like we have gone and test drove our dream cars and, you know, keeping an eye on that dream property, even if it's not this exact house and shoot, it may be this house. You never know. But I just wanted to show y'all. You have to feel it. You got to eat, sleep, and breathe it and know it. But let me show y'all. Look how gorgeous. And this is going to be Team Hall one day. Y'all can't be seeing the husband's license plate and be trying to stalk my boo. But um, yeah, and that's what you got to do. You got to put yourself in the environment. Surround yourself with the things that you desire. You have to wake up every day living that life in your mind. I tell people there is nothing wrong with being delusional as long as you ain't hurting nobody. <laughs> but I'm gonna let y'all go because I think the wind is probably gonna be killing y'all ears. But um, yeah, the property is for sale. My husband just locked himself in the backyard. Just gonna put this up. <laughs> so you really did lock yourself in the backyard. But yeah, y'all, that's what you gotta do. Oh, you want me to come back here? But that's what you got to do. You got to put yourself in the environment. Surround yourself with the people. Like I tell anybody, I do not mind. I actually love when I am not the smartest person in the world. When I'm not the, I mean, not in the world. Um, that too. But when I'm not the smartest person in the room. When I'm not the most successful person at the table. Because that's how you learn and grow and stretch yourself and that's what I do. I want to glean from those who are doing the things that I desire to do and living the type of life that I desire to live. Oh, look at their pool back there in that yard. Can y'all see that? Beautiful. But yeah, so this is just a little detour on the way to the fair. We just decided to stop by our home. <laughs> okay. You know I had to bring y'all inside. I mean, we'll be here every day pretty soon. <laughs> this will be the regular backdrop of our videos, but I figured I would do an empty house tour. Look, and I'm serious, y'all, I ain't playing no games. I am believing and receiving every bit of it. Cause there's a reason why, if y'all have been a part of the tribe for a while, you know we have put our house up for sale um, about six months ago and then decided to take it off the market because the process was just crazy. The interest rates were crazy. And I'm like, but I don't look at that as a setback because we love the house that we're in and it just wasn't the right time. So that means that there was something greater in store for us, right? And so that's what I'm here for. I'm here for all of it. I never look at those little, and it wasn't even a bump in the road because it was a decision we made. Y'all, look at this bathtub, oh, office space. Y'all look. Mm. Y'all know what kind of get ready with me's we can have here. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love my new house. <laughs> Do we love it, girls? We love it, right? Gorgeous. Uh, is this the primary? Look at all the exposed beans up there, that yard. Yeah, so I'm telling you, this is the kind of stuff you gotta do. Put yourself in the atmosphere, in the surroundings that you desire. People, places, and things. You gotta get in the midst of it and make it happen and Wake up every morning already believing that you are living that life that you desire to live because it's your life, right? It just hasn't manifested itself yet, but you got to be prepared. You want to stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. I wouldn't mind doing dishes in here. We're going to do some cook with me. This is going to be our spot. This is our backdrop. All right, I'll pick y'all up at the fair. I'm done rambling, but I hope y'all was paying attention.
the state fair. Uh, got parked, walked over here. Your girl was struggling crossing the streets. <laughs> um, but we are in the same little building that I was in the first and last time I came to the state fair like 15 years ago. And I bought my Lincoln Navigator out here. I think it was a 2008 Lincoln Navigator, brand new on this showroom floor. Um, of course, I didn't get to take it home from here. Uh, I had to go to the dealership that next day. But yeah, this is where I bought it. And I have not been back since. And I love my Navi Noir. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll meet you back down here. All right. You know, we old. We've been on the road for about an hour. So, first stop, just like a little kid. We gotta go to the restroom. So, that is where we're headed now. Ran into the men's room first. So, we're assuming that the women's restroom. Yep, on the other side. So, of course, I'm not gonna take y'all in the restroom with me, but yeah, we're at the fair. Shotgun shells. Where'd you? Did you see this on the news? Yeah. That, oh, okay. So this is one of the new ones this year. Mm -hmm. Let's see what he thinks, y'all. That's good. Worth eight tickets. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me try. Go like that. Oh, I forgot it has pasta in it. Mmm. That's different. Very crispy. For eat. Mm-hmm. That you just saw of the violinist that's actually Armand Vance and he was the violinist that came and performed at Wallace's 50th birthday party he is absolutely amazing I actually found out about him on the news during the height of the pandemic he at that time was a music teacher and uh, he was going out into the neighborhoods and just playing his violin in the street while we were on lockdown and people would come and just, uh, you know, listen and watch from their windows and their patios and whatever. And it was just something really cool 
to do during such a time of uncertainty, anxiety, and all of that. And so I found him on social media, reached out, he came and played Wallace's 50th birthday, and he has just been blowing up ever since. He has been at some of the major events. He played at Cowboys of Color in Fort Worth, and now here he is at the State Fair. But he was like, I think at the State of the City last year, just so many things. Y'all see the wind is whipping, so it's probably loud for y'all. But anyway, yeah, that was Armand Vance, so y'all check him out. All right, we're at Hurley's Southern Kitchen, and we are about to try the Soul Rolls. Right there, Best Text Choice Award finalist. Excellent Soul Rolls, so. Let's see, 2023 finalists. I'll keep y'all, keep y'all abreast of the situation. Thank you. So we got our excellent soul rolls. Came with two hush puppies, but I ate one already. Yeah, somebody couldn't wait until we got here to our sitting spot to try the hush puppies, but try the soul roll. Let them know how they're. Is it delicious? How's that sauce? Is it sweet or? Sweet and spicy. Okay, let me try it. All right, I bit my, I think it's like a cornbread ball, not really a, well, I got some hush puppy. Okay, okay. Dip that in the sauce. Mm -hmm. That's different. They proud of them. Cause these two little rolls with 22 tickets. But you know they say the oxtail is expensive these days. <laughs> Y'all, so I have been noticing since we've been out here, they have all these safety team boots, but all of them have like senior citizen men that look like they're like 70 plus. What are they gonna do? Wallace said that they just radio for the police if something goes down, but I just thought that was hilarious. Did y'all see the guy in the booth? Cause I didn't want to point cause you know, I ain't want to get in trouble, but that's hilarious. Wallace said, yeah, they just walk and talk and say, we got problems over here at booth number. One, two, three. Mine going over, I just don't want to be hanging up. So. I would definitely, I would definitely do this if it wasn't at the fair. Like I said, I just don't need nothing. The fair is place, they risk putting it up. No, they have them at some amusement parks. <laughs> All right, y'all, would y'all do this, the slingshot? I am definitely about that life. Now, I'm not going to do it at the fair where they take, put it up, take it down, put it up, take it down, take it to different places. But if it was like somewhere where it was stationary and heavily monitored by a mechanical engineer, I don't mind that dropping feeling at all. I do not mind. I'm a thrill seeker. I don't know if y'all see, but y'all know. So we have the cornbread sausage bomb. So it's a cornbread like hush puppy thing with some sausage and jalapeno and cheese. How is it, babe? Good Spicy ranch. We have not missed. I'm all up in your grill, huh? You like yeah, it? No, the steak, the steak bread didn't miss this time. Food no. And I don't even remember what I ate last time I was here. I know the kids got those fried Oreos, but I don't even remember. But those are from, what's the name of that place? But we got them right over here. The lights not agreeing, but yeah. And the ladies over there were so nice, so sweet.
Jeep pickup truck. I think these are so cute. I can see myself doing this. A bunch of strangers are jumping in my car. That's so funny. I've been here vlogging. They not care. They open the doors. Jeep. Well, they little. But it's cute. It's the best of both worlds. You got your Jeep life and your pickup truck life. That's cute. A little weekend running errands. Or if I got to do a little, you know, four wheeling, you never know. But this is a good place to shop for a vehicle without high pressure sales. You can kind of see what you like and check it out without somebody following you around everywhere and whatever. Because like I said, I bought my Lincoln Navigator here and I looked at it. I liked it. I set up a time for the next business day at the dealership to test drive it. And that was that. Look at this one. That's a little too bright. That's cute. I would rent that like in Hawaii, but I wouldn't be able to rock that on a regular basis at all. And now the lady wants to stop talking. I would hate that job. The lady is out here with a microphone just standing by different cars and explaining the cars and um, all of the gadgets and the details of the cars, but no one's paying her any attention. And who knows? how many hours she has to be out here just talking. That's just like, I feel bad when you go to some places with live music and it's not like a super, super popular band and they're up there singing and playing their hearts out. People just talking and eating and not paying any attention. They finish a song and nobody claps. I'm always gonna be the one to clap. But, uh, cause I'm a supporter, that's what I do. But yeah, she was out here just rambling on and people just walking all in front of her, not paying no mind. But anyway, all right. See y'all, uh, poor lady just doing her presentation and no one is paying attention. That would be so difficult for me just to be talking and talking and talking. I'd be like, are y'all listening? <laughs> but no one is paying attention. We just got home from the fair. Well, not just got home. Oh, let me explain. Yeah, I know. We look like we auditioning for the color purple. <laughs> Harpo and Miss Sealy. Um, but yeah, so I did, you know, we've gotten ready for bed. But I checked my steps today and the only walking I really did was at the fair. I had 10,171 steps. So we tired. My feet hurt. I had on my sneakers. I mean, so yeah, we tired. But anyway, I wanted to make sure that we... Um, Recapped. What's wrong with my shirt? Just, What's wrong with my me, hair? My we shirt like look a, crazy. Don't send on me like a shawl or something. <laughs> a wrap. A wrap. Yeah. Anyway, we wanted to Nick recap. Nick Patty Wack. <laughs> you just had to say that. Huh? <laughs> just wait on it. <laughs> I have no idea what's wrong with him. He said he's sleepy, but um, y'all probably be seeing less and less of him in the vlog, so <laughs> so don't even bother to ask. It's been announced. I had a great time today at the fair. Um. Yeah, you know, it was wonderful food. You know, that's really what I go to the fair for. You know, just the experience of new foods and things like that. It's definitely not a, a healthy eating uh, venue. <laughs> Can y'all believe this is our first time going to the fair together? Because I've only been once. I've said that a million times. I've only been once since I moved to Texas, and we have never. We have been together now. What? over 11 years mm -hmm. and we have not ever been to the fair together but we had a good time so we just wanted to kind of recap um so what was your favorite so let me tell you what we had we had the um what were they called the shotgun shells the shotgun shells Some which was okay let me tell y'all what that is oh it doesn't even tell you what they are anyway i wanted to give y'all like a little you know, description of what they were, but it doesn't even give the description. So the shotgun shells That's were on like the website gives us the description. Okay, well we're not gonna worry about this description. <laughs> it's, it's late. The but it was 
like a lasagna noodle stuffed with brisket and cheese and then some kind of crust on the outside and deep fried. Mm -hmm. And that was the first thing we had. And it was eight tickets a piece. And then we had the, what were they? The um, oxtail rolls, but they were called. Oxalent. Oxalent, was that it? Yeah, excellent soul rolls. And they were like a, um, not a spring roll, but like an egg roll, I guess, stuffed mm -hmm. with um, oxtail meat, collard greens, something else. But they were good, and they came with these little cornbread balls. Then we had those, what were those things called? The stuffed pepper, cornbread sausage. Yeah, cornbread sausage, sausage balls. So they were like big hush puppy type things, but they were stuffed with jalapeno, sausage, cheese. Mm -hmm. And that was it, right? Is yeah, that all we that's ate? Right. That's your cotton candy. One place I was looking well, I for, had that, yeah. they had this uh, heavenly peach thing I wanted to try and um, could not find it. I mean, it were, that's the other thing. The maps is horrible. It is not the scale or anything. And you got stuff that's only got the main pathway when you got stuff that's behind the main pathway. So you got to be looking and double looking mm. in between buildings and stuff to try and find different booths and things Look, like that. Let me that. try to put this behind my yeah. Go ahead. Yes, I was trying to put stuff, you know, stuff was behind stuff. So yeah. it was uh, not very well laid out. You know, I think they could have done a little bit more for his advertising or showing you directions of where actual stuff was because the map is in there. It's not to scale or anything like that. So. <coughs> Poor thing. Ooh, Him and his allergies. allergies. And I'm, I've been sneezing a lot today too. Excuse yeah. me, y'all. All that outside. Sorry about that, y'all. Let me wipe y'all. Y'all okay? All right, let me wipe y'all. Thank y'all for all the bless you. <laughs> but anyway, so out of the things that we ate, um, the three things we tried, what was your favorite? All right, like I said, the shotgun shells was real good. Oh, that was your favorite. Um, I think my favorite was the um, soul rolls, the oxalate soul food rolls. Those were really good. Yeah, those were good. However, they were... 22 tickets and you only got two little rolls i could have went for four rolls for 22 tickets that would have been a little better for me but they were really good very flavorful. well you know like i like I was trying to say when you go to those places and you go to the fire especially that stuff is marked up and it's going to be you know that is what it is so i knew going out there that stuff was going to be overly priced but just stuff i want to try because you can't get them really anywhere else so yeah it was nice pay, but pay I, play. Need, I needed four rolls but it was good um, but what I noticed out there the most was how friendly the staff was. Like so many people that we encountered were like, thanks for coming. Have a good time. You know, come back next week. Enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. I think I was telling y'all um, earlier in this video, um, the one lady uh, where I got the sausage rolls or whatever, she was like, um, you know, have a good evening or have fun. And I'm like, you too. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, you're working. And she was like, no, we're having a good time. We have as much fun as we can. But everybody, even when we were leaving, the lady's like, bye. I hope you had a good night. Come back and see us next week. But everybody was so friendly. Yeah, even Big Tex. Good to see Big Tex again. You know, since he had that little situation a few years back. Oh, my gosh. Yes, we saw plenty of big texts. There were like three, four big texts out there. But, yeah, so we had a good time. Um, hope y'all had a good time. And I wanted to tell you all because the vlog that you saw today was from our yesterday. And we kept saying we're going to Austin in the morning. And I was getting ready for Austin. And we ended up in the fair. And I don't know if I addressed that at the beginning of this vlog, but Wallace asked me tonight, he was like, did you tell them that we wasn't going to um, Austin? And so this morning we were supposed to leave out of here by like seven this morning and 6.30, we got the call that the meeting has been postponed. So luckily we weren't on the road yet, but we decided to make the best of it. What are you doing? Putting that crown on my head back there. He's not going to be in any more videos. This is the last time y'all going to see him. Um, but anyway, so the meeting was canceled. So we spent the bulk of the day doing some admin work. And then we decided once we were finished, because we didn't have any other meetings or anything scheduled because we thought we were going to be in Austin. We had to pick up so, a check. Yeah, we had to pick up a check. It's always good to pick up a check. So we stopped by and picked up a check from a client and um, went to go see our, well, whatever. Um, went to go see uh, our house, 
that I mm -hmm. showed y'all, and then we ended up at the fair. So, yeah, the meeting in Austin was postponed. So, yeah, we didn't make it to Austin, so I didn't get to wear my jumpsuit, but um, I will be keeping it. But anyway, y'all, we going to bed. We tired. I will pick y'all up in the morning. I don't know what we have going on tomorrow, but I do know that we are going to an event tomorrow evening, right. and the attire is cowboy chic. chic. So we'll see what I can put together for that because I'm not going shopping tomorrow. But um, yeah, I'll see y'all in the morning. We're going to be boot scooting boogie tomorrow. Y'all won't see him tomorrow. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. You know that I love you guys to bits and pieces. If you are new to the channel, thank you so much for sticking through all this foolishness right here. Um, don't worry. Go ahead and subscribe. You won't have to see him anymore. But y'all know the drill. <laughs> Be kind and love one another, but never stop living your life. L-Y-F-E. Love yourself first explicitly. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. I always give away too much. Mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch. I'm always pouring out my heart. No little by little here.